Hello, this is Made Not in Service, and today I'm going to show you how to make a CAT3 crossover and straight through Ethernet cable. Whether or not you should make a crossover cable or a straight through cable depends on what you're going to use the cable for. The chart on the screen shows the different uses for each type of cable. The most common cable used in households is the crossover cable because of its use to router to PC. The reason why this video will be helpful to you is if instead you find a bunch of, say, Ethernet cables lying around at your house, and you don't want to throw them away and render them useless, but because you can use them and not have to go out of your way and buy brand new cables, you could easily repurpose those cables to be useful for any kind of computer connecting to your router at home. And this is how I can show you. The first cable I'm going to make is the straight through cable. The straight through cable has the same wiring to both connectors. First, I'm going to clip off the connector to expose the wires. I will then unsheathe the wires by inserting them into a circular area of my tool. By twisting it side to side, I will safely cut off the sheath without harming the wires inside. Once the sheath gently slides off, I will then separate and untwist the wires. Once you can clearly view the colors of each wire, you will then want to follow the image shown or follow along as I repeat each wire. The first wire is white with an orange stripe. The second wire is a solid orange color. The third wire is white with a green stripe. The fourth wire is a solid blue color. The fifth wire is white with a blue stripe. The sixth wire is a solid green color. The seventh wire is a white with a brown stripe and the eighth wire is a solid brown color. Continuing on, I shift around the wires to match the correct order as forth mentioned. As you may notice, I almost roughly twist the wires forward and back in order to straighten them further. Once I completely have the wires in the correct order and fairly straight, I then trim them straight. But I do this by lining up the wires as straight as I can and cut them to have a straight end to them. I do this so that when I insert the wires into the connector, they will be able to connect with the metal piece at the end, therefore allowing electricity to be conducted between the wires and the potential outlet. Once trimmed, I then line up the wires in the connector and gently glide them through, being careful not to incorrectly move the wires around before it hits the end. Once it is nice and snug, I will then insert the cable with the connector into this tool slot. This will tighten the connector around the wires, making it difficult to accidentally pull out. After it is completely tightened, I will then repeat the entire process I did on this end and do it on the other end. This step is what matches the cable to be a straight through cable, because the electricity that will run through it will go straight from one side to the other. On to the next cable. Now this cable is going to be a bit more tricky. It is going to be called crossover cable, which one side of it will be exactly like the straight through cable, which is the pattern I showed you earlier. And the other side of the cable will have a slightly different pattern to follow, which can get confusing, but very necessary in the process. So of course I'm going to start off unsheathing my cable and taking off the little cover on it and then once I do that I'm going to neaten up the wires pull them apart from each other and make sure that all the colors are visible and easily seen and of course I will then put it into the straight through position as I had did earlier 
And then of course, I will straighten out the cables, trim them down to a correct even length and size, and then I will insert it back into the clip and crimp it again as I did before. The second wire will follow a much similar step with me unsheathing it from its plastic little cover and of course I will then pull apart the wires and separate them so that I can evenly see all the different colors. Now the crossover wire is much different than the straight through wire for the second side. The other side is going to have the pattern as follows. The first wire will be a white, the white wire with an orange stripe on it. The second wire will be a solid orange color. The third wire is the white with a green stripe in it. The fourth wire is a solid blue color. The fifth wire is a white wire that has blue in it. The sixth wire is a solid green color. The seventh wire is a white with a brown stripe in it. And the eighth wire is a solid brown color. And once I have all those evenly out, I will start straightening up the wires and making sure that they're all even, even going to the extent of cutting them as I did before. And once I insert it, I'll make sure that the ends are hitting the metal piece at the end of the plastic part, and I will crimp it once more. And then you're done! You can start using your Ethernet cables immediately. You can easily plug it into your computer and plug it into your router, plug into anything that you are going to use it for. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned for any new videos.